What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching and not starting properly issue you're currently having with FIFA 23. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager or just simply use C shortcut. Once your task manager pops up, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're gonna click into processes just to ensure that you're sticking around it. Afterwards, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in F in order to find FIFA 23. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, right click and simply hit end the task. Afterwards, I want you to end the task manager. And the next step is gonna be to take your origin or wherever you download it, or it could also be Steam shortcut on your desktop or your FIFA 23 shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it there, you simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click into the Windows symbol and use your Windows search function to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back. Take the origin shortcut or the Steam shortcut or the FIFA 23 shortcut, right click and navigate to the very button where it says properties. Once your properties pop up, I want you to click into compatibility and simply do what I'm going to do. So compatibility mode, enable run this program compatibility mode for you. Select Windows 8. Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards. And once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. Afterwards, I will simply want you to launch it or launch your game over the launcher and this will probably fix your issue. Yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help, it, help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just a new best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next one and bye.